Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Christina and in today's video we are talking all about doors. And if you're considering upgrading your doors or you're building a home and trying to decide what interior doors to put in your house, then keep on watching. So we've been remodeling our home for going on six years and we're kind of in the home stretch and we recently just upgraded our interior doors. We've actually done all the doors in our home. I have a part one about our front door. I actually need to film the second part now that it's all finished. One more thing before we finished our renovations is we wanted to upgrade our interior doors. And we live in a one story home that has 10 foot ceilings and 12 foot ceilings in some parts. And our home came with the standard height of six foot eight doors. At least that's the standard height in the United States. I don't know about the rest of the world. And that and the standard height doors with our tall ceilings just drove me crazy. I always wanted to raise them up and I just thought, you just pop them out and you put in new bigger ones. It can't be that hard. I did learn it's a little more of a process. It's not the hardest renovation to do, but you kind of have to mess up a lot of things and then go back in and fix a lot of things. So it's a little bit annoying. So not only were our doors the standard height, that didn't really proportionally work with our house, but they also were a hollow door. They were quite damaged because our home is 20 years old and they weren't an amazing product to begin with. And they just had outdated hardware and they were okay. There was nothing like offensive about them. But as we slowly upgraded our home and went quite modern with our design, these doors just kept driving me crazy. Each year we did more and more projects. They just didn't go. So we're currently removing all the doors and we're gonna be bringing them up to eight feet from the standard six foot six height or six eight. So all the interior doors in my house is a absolute disaster. And we're waiting to do the garage last so we have some security. But we have 15 sets of doors inside the house that we will be doing. So we decided to raise the doors to eight feet and here, I'm in one of my bedrooms in my house and this door is how they all look. Some, they vary in width just depending on the room and what we were working with before, but the heights are all eight feet. And we did a solid core door. So it's a lot heavier, a lot more luxe feeling. And we also upgraded the hardware to be solid brass, so the handles and the hinges. And we use the company Emtech, which I'll leave their link to their website in the description box. I am quite pleased with their products. They have, they have different ranges of price. They have like solid brass, which we chose, but they also have a little more budget friendly, like stainless steel, but still high design. They have very modern, kind of what we chose was a very sleek, modern square face with the it's like a cylindrical handle, but very sleek and minimal. And there's no screws that are visible, which I like on this model. And just a really beautiful handle. And they also had much more traditional options as well. So really recommend the company Mtech. So ch check them out. And then we chose to do a two panel shaker door. We debated doing just like a flat panel, just to kind of be really modern, but our kitchen has shaker cabinets, so we kind of thought that would kind of marry nicely together. And we decided to paint them black, which I am so thrilled we decided to do that. The color we chose was Sherman Williams Tricorn Black, which is a stunning black color. It is, it's a true black. It's not like a charcoal or gray. It is a deep, dark, inky black and it's so beautiful. If you're gonna paint your doors, which I recommend painting them black because it's so pretty, use an enamel paint. It's a little more expensive, but it protects the door, protects the paint for high traffic things. And that's what our baseboards are in enamel paint. Same with the casing and the moldings. So, so stunning, so beautiful and definitely recommend. And 
One important thing to note is that if you're building a home new, I say definitely upgrade your doors because what I learned from this is that it's an annoying process to change out your doors, especially if you're changing the height later on. At first I just thought, how hard can it be? You just rip out the six foot eight door and pop in a bigger one. But what I didn't realize is you have to demo, you have to reframe, you have to re-drywall, repaint the wall, put in the casing, put in, have the doors installed. Because there were custom sizes and widths and a custom door, they had to come and install the doors into the casing. Then they had to come in and put the hardware on. And then you had to repaint the doors because they didn't come, they, they just came primed, not, not painted. And it just, it was a lot harder of a process to remodel. Whereas if you were building a house new, you already were gonna do all those steps anyway. You're just kind of picking higher end, a little bit more expensive products just that one time. So I definitely recommend paying for it once if you're building a home. Understand that it's a little bit of a harder, annoying project to do if you're remodeling, but I definitely think it is worth the splurge if you can afford to do it. And one more thing to note, if you already have like eight foot ceilings in your house or nine foot ceilings, it might not make sense to raise your ceilings that high, or maybe that's not in the budget to raise your, not your ceilings. Raising your ceiling would be very expensive, but if it's, it might not be in the budget to raise your doors to eight feet, but what you could do is still replace your standard height doors for a solid door, a wood door, something a little more upscale, luxurious, and also consider painting your doors that you already have. That might be a way to upgrade your house or update your hardware or any any combination of those will elevate your home, elevate your space. And I think it's definitely worth it. I think it's a little splurge in a, in a renovation, but I think it pays dividends in the style. It sets your home apart from other people because not everyone's gonna bother doing that. But I think having like these black doors and this upgraded hardware is stunning. And it it's a project that not everyone's doing and it makes your house look a little more luxe, a little more elevated. So definitely consider that if you're building a home or upgrading your house, don't forget about your interior doors. So whether you decide to go the whole nine yards like we did for the doors, or you're just gonna paint them or just update your hardware to be something a little more you or a little more contemporary, I think it can go a long way. And at first we were debating if we wanted to just keep the doors white to match our walls. And then we were considering either doing brass hardware or matte black. I think both, I think all those options would have looked beautiful. I just woke up one day and was like, well, what if we did black? And we didn't turn back. I love the black, but you could just update the hardware to change out the metal to be something a little more contemporary. I mean, matte black always looks stunning. So I think any door you could throw matte black on and it would look stunning. I even think the black paint with the black hardware, if you're like a minimalist, that would be so pretty. We just kind of want a little more contrast and we're slowly incorporating brass into our house. So the hardware was an easy way to incorporate that into our house. I hope you found this helpful or inspiring or entertaining. And let me know if painting your doors black is something that you would consider doing or updating your hardware. Is that just an annoying task or do you think it's worth it? Do you think it really elevates your house? I vote yes that it does, but let me know in the comments. Please consider subscribing and liking this video if you did. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll get more home renovation, more home decor videos, sometimes fashion things sprinkled in. And I'd love for you to stick around and watch the rest of my videos and future videos. And with that, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.